Today, I'm here to talk about and unbox the RGB Link Mini Pro. This is the newest device in the family of RGB Link Mini switchers, including the RGB Link Mini, the RGB Link Mini Plus, and now the RGB Link Mini Pro. In this video, we're going to talk about what's included in the box for the RGB Link Mini Pro and what else you might need to get started streaming and recording. So let's get into the box for the RGB Link Mini Pro. Inside the main box, you have the RGB Link Mini Pro itself. Inside the small box, you have a wall brick and a USB-C power cable to provide power to the Mini Pro. You'll use this brick and cable constantly to provide power to the RGB Link Mini Pro while you're using it. And there's finally a USB 3.0 cable used to bring the Mini Pro's feed into your computer to either stream or be used in your favorite video conferencing app like Zoom or Teams. You'll also need the HDMI cables for your camera with an HDMI Type A or full-size HDMI connection into the RGB Link Mini Pro. If you want to add recording capability, you can purchase a USB storage solution separately and connect it right to the Mini Pro. And I wanna take a look really quickly at some of the graphics on this box. On the side here, you can see some of the features that come with the RGB Link Mini Pro. Some of these are new features and some of them are the same ones that you got with the Mini Plus and the Mini. I want to point out that there's remote control from the RGB Link app. There is also new transition effects. We now have joystick control for PTZ cameras and we can record to USB. In addition, you'll see that there's now an audio mixer on board and a touch screen. So all great features that are going to set this apart from the Mini and the Mini Plus. When you take a look on the back, you'll also see a diagram of a standard workflow and you can see that we can now record, feed an HDMI out, bring in a mic, bring in some cameras and we're set to go. So just a diagram of what a basic workflow would look like with this device. Here's the RGB Link Mini Pro coming in at eight inches by five and a half inches. Um, really sturdy device, nice build on it. We now have this little joystick that's really going to help with some of the PTZ camera operations and this side button for the zoom as well. Um, we still have these great tactile buttons that are really easy, really straightforward for basic operation. And of course the T-bar slider as well. It also comes with a touch screen, which makes navigation even easier than the traditional button control. On the front, you have a USB-C power port. Again, this unit needs a power source. It is not battery powered. You also have four HDMI inputs and one HDMI output. Head on over to the side. We now have an audio input and an audio output. Our ethernet or network port for PTZ camera control. For outputs, not only do you have your HDMI out, but you also have your webcam output, which is great for video conferencing with things like Zoom. And you have your USB recording output. This is for a external USB hard drive or better yet, an SSD drive with a USB reader plugged in right here. The RGB Link Mini Pro 4 input video mixer with PTZ control is now available. 